I'm making a tutorial on the most bestest, the greatest hexaflexicon ever. My name is Samia from 9A and I hope you enjoy. Okay, what you need is some paper, a pencil, a glue stick, any type of straight edge, a really good working protractor, and some scissors. I'm starting off by putting five dash marks along the bottom of my paper and the top of my paper. Make sure they are all equal. I'm starting off by aligning my compass with the dashes and making these really weird looking semicircle arcs. This really helps me make equilateral triangles. And then when you're done with that, you want to put little points where the two semicircles meet at. Okay, so you want to take your straight edge and you want to connect all the points. Make sure the line is very, very straight. After that, you want to connect your points at the top and connect them to the right lower dash marks we made. And when you're done with that, you want to do the opposite by connecting the top points to the left lower dash marks at the point. And now you want to cut off the excess paper you have at the top. Make sure you get the sides as well. Make sure you have 19 triangles, but I needed 20 because I'm gluing the two sides together. All I'm doing now is just erasing the extra lines we made. And then after that, you want to take your triangle and you want to fold them across the line we made. And you want to do that accordion style throughout the whole strip. So make sure they're all nice and tight and none of them are popping out and you want to unravel it. Make sure you're on the side of the strip with the triangle pointy side is facing up. And you want to name the side 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. You want to name the very last flap glue. After that, you want to flip the whole thing over and you want to name the first flap glue. And you want to name the rest 4, 4, 5, 5, 6, 6 and so on. Okay, here's a really important tip when decorating your hexaflexicon. Make sure if you want to do, for example, blue lines across, then you want to do it on only the course, the same number. So let's say I want to do blue lines for one face of the hexaflexicon. I will only do that on the ones. I won't do it on the twos. Because if you do do it on the twos and when you go to flex, then they will be out of order. And be unique and use different paper. I am using some floral paper and I'm going to glue them in so they make a really cool, nice design. Be as creative as you want with this. The sky is the limit. Okay, this is my whole strip decorated all nice and pretty. Now watch very carefully as you do this. I put my finger on the two, I folded the three back, and I folded the two fives on top of each other. You want to fold it down under and back up again for the whole strip. Okay, the pattern should be one, two, two, three, three, one, one, two, two, three. Watch carefully. You want to fold the two twos backwards. You want to fold the three threes on top of each other. And you want to fold that three behind so you can see two glue flaps. And you want to glue those two flaps together. And you're finally done! I have to crease the edges of the hexaflexagon to make a really flat looking hexaflexagon. Here are all the sides. That's six. This is one. This is two. This is five. This is three, and last but not least, this is side number four. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy.